What's up, everybody? It's your boy D Diddy once again. I'm bringing our gameplay commentary on Modern Warfare 3, and I just want to make this commentary because I don't really pay attention what all the quick scoping community does. Stuff here, all, I think they're a bunch of uh, little nerds. But you know, if you don't know like half of a brain, you know that everybody always looks up to this Phase Pomage dude, and when you think of Phase, you think of Pomage. And I was playing Call. I mean, I was playing Grand Theft Auto 5, like. Like, you know, a lot of us are. And then I kind of saw this on the timeline. And everybody, all the little quizscoping little little nerds are freaking out. So, let's just take my two cents on it. One, what, here's the deal. Like, everybody just cares so much. Get a wife. He can do what the fuck he ever wants to. But here's the deal. He is the most known sniper in the Call of Duty community. Let's just be, let's just be honest with that. Let's be honest with that. He is the most known sniper in COD. I mean, in post, basically, I think he's the he's the most he, of all the quiz scopers. He's the best one. And why do you leave? I bet there's so many conspiracy out there. Oh, he's a fucking money whore. Oh, uh, uh Faze is such a dude, man. Faze is the best thing. Why did you do it? He's such a greedy little asshole. Uh, all these little Faze little nerds are crying and oh my god he, this, he, this guy's the best guy ever and face did so much for him <laughs> shut up you old nerd all right why do you leave one let's just think about this let's think about in sync if, you, if it, well, all your kids don't know in sync was very big in 2000 but then again in sync was mostly known for one person and that's Justin Timberlake and Justin Timberlake got a really great idea thinking hey I'm the I'm the I'm the product of NSYNC and I feel like that I can make more I mean I can have better reach I can make more money I can also I mean it, because the NSYNC brand was holding up what I can do in, in terms of the business aspect because everybody wants because he's associated with himself with NSYNC so he left NSYNC he, he did pretty fairly fairly well for himself didn't he made more money and hey got more fame this is what he does this is what Pomaz is doing let's be honest with you and if people call him a fucking money whore shut up it's it's called business guys it's called business because let's just think about it he made man when you think of phase you think of him when you look okay, let's repeat after me the first person you think, when you say phase, you think of Pomage. Let's just think about that right now. So, if you're a good businessman, and you realize that, why not build your own brand, make more money, and also, just, uh, you know, just don't be hampered by maybe a bunch of losers, quote unquote, because I still, I mean, honestly, I do not like a lot of phase members. I don't. And I'll leave a description in the video of the video I was talking about. Like, one of the reasons why I don't like them. Because I think they're above everybody else. And yet, in reality, no one ever gives a shit. I'm just being honest. So, I got I got a really good start in this game right here. So, But it kind of goes downhill from there. So, that's what I think. Hey, why not? If, if you're a business, why not expand on your own brand? And sell your own brand, make a little bit more money. Because you gotta remember, this is his full time job. And also, he can actually do be more free. He's gonna be more free to do things. Because being in the in the in the dumb phase clan, he is basically hampering himself with Call of Duty videos. Now being solo, he can do whatever the hell he wants because he's not tied down by a group of people or a boss to talk to. Because oh you gotta you gotta you gotta kiss Call of Duty's ass all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. He can do whatever the hell he wants. You can make a you can make Grand Theft Auto 5 videos and no one will ever no one will actually say, Oh, you can't do that, you can't do that, because you're in phase, you gotta you gotta kiss Call of Duty's ass. Hey, you can do that. Hey. You could play other games, you could do let's plays and all that stuff. And he doesn't have to be hampered by you know his clan and be part of, and just do things the way he wants to. And what's the other thing? Hey, sometimes we all need change. We need change in our lives. And 
sometimes just getting rid I mean sometimes just uh, have another challenge for himself he could do that and there is there anything wrong with that not really in hell hey he could make his own clan heh <laughs> make his own clan and maybe topple things and maybe be less douchebaggy too in the process so that's why that's some of the reasons why I think he wept I mean I like I said I don't follow this shit but it just popped up on my Twitter and I just had to give my two cents because all these little little uh, nerds are are uh, basically all over the timeline saying oh he's a fucking money whore shut the fuck up it's called business guys business oh yeah one other thing one of the reasons why he left Call of Duty quickscoping is dying I'm being honest, there's gonna be less there's gonna be less interest in sniping. The sniping committee ever since Infinity Ward has said, you nerds, we're gonna we're gonna cut, we're gonna make quick scoping a lot harder. There's not gonna be as many quick scopers. So if you're fa if you're Fromage and you're probably the best sniper, and trust me, he'll probably be able to call snipe and quick scope and call of duty ghosts. I, I guarantee it. And there's going to be less snipers on YouTube. Why not say, hey, I could do it. I'm not associated with the with a group of people, but I could do it. Hey, come see me. It's called smart business, guys. And also, like I said, call, and if Call of Duty sniping completely dies, he can actually make new other content. He can play Minecraft. He can play other games. And still have the channel base that he's in. Because, let's face it, Call of Duty, like, I don't think Call of Duty's dying, but Call of Duty is not really as popular as it was. And yet, and then a lot of people, a lot of smart people, are starting to switch up their content. Say, so going to Battlefield, going to Destiny, and all that stuff. And this move by Phase Pomage, or Pomage, is basically doing that. To explore other venues to entertain his audience because you don't have to do quick scope man. let's be honest here quick scoping like these montages even though they're cool and all and they're popular it's a fad it is a fad and eventually people are not going to be interested in it and eventually sometimes these big clans die and then all these nerds saying hey phase is too big to die oh my god oh my goodness I'll give you an example back when when counter strike was big was in his heyday there are so many clans out there I, I kind of forgot but here's the deal but I do know this what's the call what's once Counter-Strike went to shit after like uh, source all those clans died out and then some of them were really big they're like international ones and all stuff you know Counter-Strike still accepted and watch this. I tried to put my Osprey Gunner. Yeah, I get killed by the Reaper. I'm such a dumbass. I haven't played this game in a while. I've been playing too much Grand Theft Auto. So, let's be honest here. Try expand your business. And sometimes give you other opportunities of other games to explore. Is one is the reasons why FaZe Bamaz left. Or Bamaz left. So, you quickscope and nurse said call him a greedy money whore. You gotta think. Would you do the same thing in the in his shoes? Leave, expand your possibilities, get more opportunities for yourself to entertain your fans, make more money. Would you do the same thing? I would. Quit crying. That's the commentary today. I took my scrub team and led them to victory. Peace out, guys.